What's going on guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and I'm here today in Blender 3.6. I just want to make this quick today, just a few things that I started doing in my renders while using Eevee um, that I think are really simple and I haven't really seen anybody else talk about this in other videos on, you know, tutorials on YouTube. So I just wanted to kind of just take a moment to talk about them real quick. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to show you this little, uh, traffic system. I actually followed a tutorial by Cartesian Carmel, hopefully I said that right, on YouTube. He has a lot of great videos, but I would highly recommend going to check out the video. I'll put a link in the description. All right, so I will just switch over to my rendered settings here, and you can see if we look down by these trees, ignore the uh, terrible modeling, I just quick slapped something together. Um, might work on it more later, but anyways, if you take a look at these trees down here, you'll notice that there's not really any shadows around them. And if I go over to my render properties tab, you'll see I have ambient occlusion and screen space reflections on. So without them, it would be a lot more dry and cut. Um, but with these on, you can see we get some reflections and shadows, but it doesn't look that great. Like if we're looking down here, we can see there's like not really much reflection on the water. And overall, it's just not looking too good. Like we can see we just don't have a ton of reflections and shadows and it does look a little fake. So even though we're using EV, there's a few things we can do to make this a little bit better. So under ambient occlusion, the first thing you can see that this distance here is set to 0.2 meters. What I like to do is I'll scroll down by these trees so we can see a bit better. Is I just crank this up and you can see just by turning it up there to 10.3, I already have a lot more shadows and things are starting to look a little bit more full. So I can turn that up a bit more. And you can just play with this till you get something that looks good. I think I went with 26.6. .6. And this actually, I was able to render 250 frames pretty quickly um, doing the things I'm about to show you. So I don't think it has too much of an effect on render time. But keep in mind, this is also a relatively lower scene with only 61,000 vertices, just a little bit over 61,000. So that's the first thing you can do, play with the distance under the ambient occlusion tab. The second thing you can do, which is one of my favorite things, is if we go to screen space reflections down here, some people say to turn off this half res trace, but or I, I don't really think it does too much, or same thing with refraction. It doesn't do a whole lot, but if we get this thickness here and we turn this up, you can see we're starting to get a ton more shadows and reflections. I think I went with 29.9 was what I ended up going with. And you can see right there, 29.9 is still good. So this is with the thickness all the way up. And if I just reset to the default value, well, let me just control Z that out a little bit. You can see the shadows here. And then if I just set this to the default value, you can see we lose a lot of shadows. So it definitely looks better with that thickness turned up. And then just to showcase this ambient occlusion here, the distance if I reset this to to the default value you can see especially down here that's with it and this is without it so I mean I think that this definitely is gonna make a big difference on your scenes and when you render so I'm just surprised to hear that more people haven't been talking about that so I just found it really helpful and I just wanted to briefly share it with everybody I hope this helps let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe if you found the video helpful and Maybe I should probably model the rest of this bridge because it looks very unfinished. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.